Hello, everybody. You're here for the August 2022 TTM recap. Let's not keep you waiting any longer. First up, there. First off, there were eight returns this month. Pretty good. I have a fair amount of returns out. Eight's pretty good for me. I'm happy with that. Uh, first one I've been out a while. 696 days. Three for three. Care of home. We have Mr. Brad Muster, who was a first-round pick by the Bears in 1988. Played five years with the Bears and two with the Saints. So there he is on two action pack cards. Three action pack cards. Which one do I want to display? Well, 90 is my favorite. So that will be our representative for our loan football return. This next one... Really excited to get back. I knew when I saw this stamp, it was a Kraken return. Because last October when I sent out Kraken um, requests, I only used this stamp. I only used this stamp for Kraken requests. And that means this success or this uh, request was out almost 300 days before it came back. And it was one for two, but just so happens to be... The GM, Ron Francis, who is a NHL Hall of Famer. He won two Stanley Cups, both with the Penguins, 91-92. Three-time Lady Bing winner. And when he retired, he was second all-time in assists, fifth in points, and third in games played. Here he is with Carolina Hurricanes. I also have him on a Whalers card. Shout out to Shoebox Legends. And I'm going to send to him again this fall. Hopefully get it back next summer. And I feel like I probably need him on a <clears throat> on a Penguins card. Because that's where he won his, his uh, Stanley Cups. The um, Unless he's on some kind of cracking thing I can find. I, I would probably send a Pittsburgh card. So here we go. Next up, two for two. 14 days. Care of home. Mr. Charlie Spikes. And if you recognize this card, it is one that I uh, got signed by Al Bumbry at the National. Put it in the mail to Charlie Spikes. Hopefully at some point I can get Dewey Evans on it through a private signing or something like that. And I also got this card at the National out of a dollar box. And uh, knowing that I was going to send this eventually. And so I went uh, two for two on Charlie Spikes. He played nine years. Mostly with uh, with the New York American League team, a lot with the Indians and some Atlanta, and I think um, he was involved in the Nettles trade that sent Nettles to New York um, uh, from uh, from from Cleveland. So there was a lot of other players involved, but I'm pretty sure that's one of his claims to fame. There, one for one, care of home, just nine days for. Mr. Mike Hedlund, personalized to Eddie. This one, um, yeah, just nine days. Another card I got at the National. A lot of these are um, 73s and 64s that I got at the National. Because if you watch my recap video, you remember I got like tons of set needs. Well, my sets for, for 73 and 64 are hybrid, <clears throat> signed, and non-signed. So the ones that I can get signed, I do get signed. And with that headland return, I am at 57.76% on the 73. So here we go. We're going to do a 64 run. We got four from 64 here. Uh, this one, one of one, care of home. Another nine day return. Mr. Wayne Sure. Just played one year for the Cubs in 1964. Happy to get that back on the rookie card. Uh, one on one, Carol home, 12 days, another 64 tops. Mike Joyce played uh, two years only with the White Sox in the big leagues. He was then traded to the Mets and admitted years later that his arm trouble was already starting up and never made it to the show with the Mets, even though he has this card. And, and in the Mets minor league system over the next couple years, he was 0-13 with a 7.09 ERA. So pretty much uh, 
maybe okay memories if you're a White Sox fan. Not so much if you're a Mets fan. Uh, 101, Kara Home, nine days again. To finish the duel, already signed by Mr. Dave Duncan, Tommy Reynolds. Played eight years with the Kansas City A's, the Mets, the Oakland A's, the Angels, the Brewers. Uh, twice uh, hit for four times in a game. And he was the coach on the 89 A's World Series team. Down to one already. Although the 64s look so nice all together. I didn't realize how much glare I was getting here. I apologize. I think you want to be able to see those still. Okay, one left. Cliffhanger, right? I have actually tried to get this player two other times over the last 10 or 15 years and never have been able to hit one of his windows. So I was really glad to get a one-of-one -one in 14 days of the great Cuban Cookie Rojas. Um, you know, Phillies fans can claim that Rojas is a Philly. And Royals fans can claim that he was a Royal because he played 16 years. And mostly for those two teams. In fact, he played exactly 880 games for the Phillies. And he played 880 games for the Royals. He was a five-time All-Star. He did lots of coaching after he retired. He's currently the uh, Marlins Spanish TV color commentator. And... Um, I, I enjoyed, uh, in the early days of the MLB Network, his son Victor as one of the personalities on the MLB Network. But I'm really happy to get Cookie Rojas back. Um, hasn't always been a great a great signer. He just has windows like a lot of these guys. And finally, I was able to sneak in one of the windows. So for the 64 set, that takes me to 68.21% signed. I only like to look at that number maybe a couple times a year just to see where I'm at. I'd like to get get to 50 for the 64 set, and then by that time, it'll be just about impossible to get the rest. But um, yeah, thanks for joining me for the August 2022 TTM recap. Until next time, remember, we don't count subscribers, we count friends.